The next leg of our long road trip continues. We make it to Oregon and the beauty continues. Awe-inspiring nature. We saw mushrooms abound. Let's see where this episode takes us. It's morning time, and I'm the first one up. It's a rough night last night. I'm looking forward to the shower. Hopefully it's nice and warm. Now we're hitting the road. we got to get near Eugene for our next stop. Just went to take a shower. He's running behind. We will leave shortly. He's already fed and water, ready to go. All right, back on the road again. We're gonna stop in Roseburg, Oregon for lunch, which is gonna be a horsey door lunch. Continue on US 199 North and, uh, miles. We're going to hopefully get stuff to clean the windows, some other provisions we need possibly on the way, and still get to my daughter's in time because there is a deadline for that. Here he comes. I stayed with the doggy to keep her company. He had to go get a few provisions. And she's just been so good. And I raised her bed up. Oops, super close up. I raised, raised her bed up so she's more comfortable and she can, she's up higher. I think she likes that. Stop for lunch. A little bit of 
fall colors changing. That's part of why we like to travel this time of year by Mount Hood. There's supposed to be a lot of. This is mostly like an evergreen forest, but there is some other.
trip. Why is it doing it like that? I don't know. How, and that lane would could turn this way yeah. too. Oh. Huh. Well, he just went on the red over there. I, I don't get it. <laughs> We've got a lot to learn.
mysteries. Is it? No. <laughs> I was gonna say them. They look like put a score on, but I don't think they are. I don't know what they what, are. Aspens or something. Again, this guy over there in the yellow vest, which is why our dog is still worked up, came over and was ready to pump Bobby's gas. And I was like, oh gosh, that's right. In Oregon, you can't pump your own gas. Because I remember that from when I was a kid. And so Bobby's like, okay, hold on. He was kind of nervous. And he says, I can't pump it. And the guy says, well, the law just passed. If you'd like to pump it, you can. If you'd like me to, I will. And Bobby said, well, I'll do it. So that was a little trippy. I'm not sure how much per gallon here, but I know it's a lot less than where we come from. And then he's gonna take the dog over uh, to a little grass area to use the bathroom. So yeah, welcome to Oregon. Proceed on I-5 North. That'd be funny if the teardrop needs to catch up. Just kidding.
smells in here. See this. It scared the living heck out of me. This is it, huh? This is it, baby. Okay, this is where we're gonna get lunch and Bobby's gonna fish. The dog's gonna get out. Where do you park? Not there, obviously. Oh, there's a person over there too. a little weird here there's hip camp down there and no park in there and he came out all scared can I help you and Bobby's like no look it's private property We're like oh sorry and we were just gonna have a snack he's like oh well, over here's private property you can just have a snack I thought you were camping I saw the camper We're like no we're gonna have a snack and then we're gonna go there's some other weird it's just kind of weird vibes down here to be honest Bobby went and checked out the river and he said it's too shallow. He didn't want to fish in it. Look like a look see and then off we go. The rest of the journey, about an hour I think to go. To go near Eugene. Hmm. It's neat down here though. Umpqua River. Roseburg, I think, Oregon.
Yeah, that guy up there in the white's just been wandering and lurking around. It's so weird. That's all we needed. Quick bite to eat. So I don't know what the hip camp, it's a really bumpy road over there the hip camp. And this is just a weird, even just coming up out of here is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still 